all right guys welcome back to the third video in the persuasive slash argumentative series section d of the csec english a paper two welcome all right so we're going i'm going to skip all the intros and go into the video so today we're looking at the essay structure I'm not going to go too much into essay structure in this video because I did it last year in last year's CSEC English Made Easy Exam Countdown. So I'm going to link that video down below or somewhere on the screen. So if you want to take a second to pause that this video to watch that video, you can or you can watch this then watch that you can so i'm just going to go into an overview all right let's go once again guys i'm not learning the first slide is the hardest so let me click this all right so when we look at the persuasive essay structure and i have to say to you guys I know a lot of students are intimidated by persuasive writing, but I need to say something to you that persuasive writing or the argumentative essay, this type of essay is one of the easiest essays that you can write on the CXC paper because it has a great structure. If you if you follow the five paragraph structure, you should not fail. And some of you you, you would have been familiar with this because your teachers would have said it to you already. But the five paragraph structure basically says you have your introduction, you have your body, which you develop your first point, second point third point and your conclusion and that's basically your essay so the idea is that if you follow the structure of the per persuasive slash argumentative essay you will not go wrong so in your first paragraph your introductory paragraph you are going to state your position you are going to state clearly meaning stay clearly which side you're on and you're going to present your three points to support your arguments also you are told to include your thesis statement and i don't want your head to explode when you hear thesis statement simply put your thesis statement is a sentence that you include in your introduction that tells the reader what your essay is about that's it it sounds big and fancy and complicated but we're not here to complicate things we're here to make it easy so you put a sentence in there that basically states your position and what your essay is about and you have your thesis then you go to paragraph one and you need to remember that in your introduction you need to select three awesome points when i say awesome i keep it awesome is my favorite word but when i say awesome i mean three strong points that you can use to develop your essay and so when you're developing point one in paragraph two because this would be paragraph one then paragraph two when you're developing point one in paragraph two of your body then you need to ensure you develop your point using sufficient examples sufficient persuasive um, devices and sufficient supporting details hopefully you're understanding everything i am saying to you then we go to point two paragraph three yes i know it seems confusing and you do the same develop your second point you do the same ensure you have your 
paragraph being structured with your um, persuasive devices and the same for the next paragraph but in this case you're developing point three and then you have your conclusion in which you sum up your main points you tie up your argument and you close so then you have one oh sorry guys now you choose to work <laughs> Then we, so we have our one, two, three, four, five paragraphs. Now let's quickly turn to the argumentative essay. So an argumentative essay is an essay in which you argue in favor of a particular position. And I wanted to include this, as I've said before, in the first video in this series, Oftentimes, these terms are used inter persuasive, argumentative, are used interchangeably, in some meaning that they're used to mean the same thing. In some cases, there's a distinction because for argumentative, you're arguing your point, and for persuasive, in some cases, you're trying to convince the not necessarily brutally arguing a point, but just convince the reader so i don't want this to be major confusing so that is why i wanted to just explain persuasive slash argumentative etc etc the essay's arguments are designed to support the position argued for in the essay so in your argumentative essay all your arguments whether you're for the point or against the point if you're for all of your arguments is designed to state that this you agree with this claim that you're for this claim and similar to the persuasive where you have your introduction and then you have your points it and then your conclusion for the argumentative it's the same structure introduction you state your position state your points and you develop your essays right and remember a good argumentative essay is an essay that contains credible points so especially in your argumentative you have to ensure that you have conclusive evidence and this is where we talk about the persuasive devices the use of reliable sources the use of statistical information the use of the persuasive design devices sorry to support your point really helps when it comes to argumentative essay now in this big fancy picture I want you to realize so argumentative one side only and then you have your intro then you have your body and then you have your conclusion in your body you have your argument one whether you're for or against so if you're for argument one for if you are against argument one against and then you have your supporting um, details same thing for argument um, two. For you have your supporting details, or if you're again supporting details, and the same structure, and you conclude by restating your points, stating your thesis statement, stating really and truly tying up everything that you have said in your overall essay. Now, some important things to note in your persuasive writing. When you're writing your persuasive slash argumentative, you must identify and develop three solid points in your essay, your speech, or your letter to the editor. We're going to be talking about speech next. You must develop these points. Use the five paragraph structure. So you have your five paragraphs, your introduction, you develop your three points, and then your conclusion. It's a simple format. If you don't remember, the sink of your right hand. Your thumb is the introduction, the index finger all the way down to I don't know um your ring finger those are your three points 
and then your what do we call what do you call it your baby your pinky right your pinky finger is your conclusion and you have that set and that is your essay so that's a good way to remember outside of your introduction and your conclusion each paragraph must develop one of your points we just said that now each paragraph is a building block to your essay as such, each paragraph must develop your argument by pro providing supporting details and including persuasive details as well. Guys, you know what I want you to really get if you don't get anything? One of our major issues is paragraph writing. One way to ensure that you conquer your paragraph writing um, beast is that you intentionally write, when you're writing your first paragraph, you say, okay, what are the things I want to include? I want to include an intro to my essay in terms of what I'm writing about, my position, um, and my three points and then at after you have written your three points you kind of remember that you need to tie up that paragraph and you end that paragraph and then you start your next paragraph remember to indent and you say okay i'm developing this one what do i do so you have to mentally keep track of what you're doing on the CXC paper, you get blank sheets. Use your blank sheets because they are your best friend. Use them, use them well. And so we have to ensure that we are paying attention, so to speak, of what it is we're doing when we're writing. And so that is, it sounds simple and it sounds weird, but that's an easy way to help yourself when it comes to writing your paragraph. And remember, if you, when you're finished writing, you're not seeing any clear paragraphs in your essay, something is wrong. You need to ensure that you're seeing clear paragraphs. And when we talk about paragraphs, you do not need to skip a line to indicate that you are writing a new paragraph. Only thing you need to do is indent. And to indent, you start away from the margin uh, when you're beginning and the next line goes all the way to the margin. So you see the distinction in the indentation of the various paragraphs. All right, moving along. Now let us look at our sample questions for persuasive slash argumentative. Now write a sample. Wait. How did I get story here? Write a sample story. This should not be story based on the topics given in. A Guys, this is not story. This should be write a sample essay. Sorry, guys. All right. So these are the instructions. So you, your word limit is 250 to 300 words in this section. And remember, we are looking at, we looked at the mark scheme in video one. We are looking at um, ensuring that you organize your points, that you develop your argument, and that your grammar is as best as you can make it. So A and C. All right, let's go to the question. From the 1991 past paper, you are asked to write an article for your school news for your school magazine in which you argue for or against the following nobody has a right a choice <laughs> nobody who has a choice would want to be a teacher this one hits close to home guys oh my gosh nobody who has a choice would want to be a teacher wow and this is a 1991 past paper question. The next one. Hungry students cannot learn. Free lunch should be provided for all secondary school students. Write an essay giving strong arguments for or against this topic. 
this is a 2010 past paper question guys remember we talked about um argumentative this is a prime example of an argumentative type of question notice strong arguments notice you are asked to select for or against and this just came to me as i'm talking please i know some of you are like i'm brilliant i can argue both ways please in <laughs> Follow the instructions given. If the question asks you for or against, choose one. Please, it is to be on the safe side. Argue the strongest point that you have. Don't try to say, oh, okay, I'm excellent. I can argue both sides. Follow the instructions. The focus on one argument and develop your argument. One position, sorry, and develop your argument. Taken from a 1991 past paper question, your school counselor has asked for nominations for the Teacher of the Year Award. Write a letter to the council in which you suggest someone from the school giving strong arguments to support your choice. Very persuasive in nature. So notice this is quite persuasive in nature. And I wanted to add this question because I found the structure of this question a little different from what we have been seeing um, over the years. And the fact that this question is a letter. And please remember that what kind of letter format you would be using? The business letter format. So remember also that we need to transfer the different knowledge that we have in the different areas sorry guys all right so that's the last question in this series a couple of things that i want you to understand when we look at structure we have two different structures that we're working with we're working with the five paragraph essay structure that we can use for the persuasive argumentative. And we're also looking at the business letter structure that can be used to the letter for the letter to the editor. And in this case, we saw this 1991 question asks us, asking us to write a letter with which would be a business letter as well. So we see these two structures coming out. What is is I don't want to happen is that you go into the exam and you see the question being phrased a little differently and you are all flustered because you're like, but I didn't study for this. I didn't know. It doesn't look at the type of question that you're given. If it's a letter, it doesn't matter if it doesn't say letter to the editor, the letter structure remains the same. You, the important thing is developing the body of the letter. Another thing as well, whatever type of essay you're given to write, the important thing is developing your argue, arguments and following your essay structure. So hopefully um, that you find that pretty helpful. The last thing we're going to talk about is the speech. And then we're going to move on to expository writing. And then we're going to touch on summary. We are a couple days away. Um, try and watch all the videos that we have done. It is a series of videos. They're designed to walk you through the process. Thank you also for your comments. I know a couple of persons were like, oh, we're flustered. No don't get flustered we can do this it is not the end of the day it is not over until it is over do not try to cram everything in take everything stage by stage that is why we're taking this countdown via section by section of the cxc paper so you have an idea of what it is that we're looking at also if you have any other suggestions for videos or if you have any question please comment below now let me know what is the question which one of these questions would you like to answer which one do you think 
would be your question that you would answer. Also, would you like to see me writing a sample of any of these? And if so, which question would you want us to look at or address? All right, guys, see you on the other side of this video. Um, remember to like, to comment, to subscribe so that you can see whenever we post a new video. Please click the notif notification bell because if you don't, you might not see when our videos are published. And have a great morning, great night, great day, whenever you see this. Bye-bye, everybody.